So whenever we want to bring something into our lives, so whether that is a new habit, a new way of being, a belief that we know that if we root can really make a difference, or simply to create more space and time in our lives, the best thing to do is just make some space for that. It sounds really obvious, but when we're full to the brim, when your thoughts are packed, when your body is tense, then there's, we, we can't bring anything in and we can't hold on to it. So if you start by just allowing yourself with some somatic practices and your intention to make some physical space in your body, then you're allowing, first of all, your mind to open up and notice more opportunity. So right now there are so many different avenues that you could go in. There are so many different ideas that when we're living a fast-paced life, we, we close ourselves down to because we're just one way, we're just getting through. So the moment you begin to make space, what actually happens is you physically make that space in your body so your, your body can relax. When you clear your mind, you're allowing yourself to notice things that right now are going unnoticed if you're, if you're full to the brim. And it enables time just to expand. And I notice whenever I take the time to do this, it feels like I've just got that little bit more spaciousness in the day. Somehow I'm able to do things more efficiently and easily. Okay, so what I'd like to do is take you through a really simple practice. My name's Leanne Campbell. I'm a life and well-being coach and I specialize in somatic practices. And I'm also a co-creator of A Handpicked Life. And all the details are below if you'd like to check that out. But right now, I'd like to take you just on a simple somatic practice to make some space, okay? So just, first of all, just rub your hands together. Give everything a good shake. Let your feet feel really rooted, grounded. If you move the soles of the feet and just let them come alive a moment, just get a little bit of a wobble up your legs, up your spine, soften the shoulders, shake the arms and the head, breathe out, take a deep breath in. And just get a nice little bounce in the body and feel the spaciousness in your torso, in your arms, your hands, in the legs and your feet. So just simply bring in the awareness to the space in your body, space at the back of the heart, in the chest, in the throat, in your head behind your eyes and just give the legs a kick and the hands a shake and then from here I'm just going to clear the head so bringing the fingers onto the forehead press in and just slide out with pressure to the temples shake it off and you're going to do that just all over your head just make some space each time shaking off, and it should feel really good. So you want to rake the scalp all the way over the top, the back of the head, and just finish off on the neck. Okay. And then from here, we'll just do the belt flow to make sure we're grounded and connected. So you're just smoothing across all the way across to one side, down the leg and off. And just do that the other side. Okay. Okay, now the organs related with letting go are large intestine and lung. So what I'd like to do is massage from, it's like you're massaging down the seam of the leg. So make a three finger notch and just Press and circle, go down to the next spot, press and circle, and go all the way down the seam of the leg, just to the knee. 
just breathe deeply. And what you're doing is you're clearing the large, in, large intestine lymphatic points, which helps you to let go. I mean, we're obviously releasing from the large intestine, but also emotions, when your head feels packed, just making some space in the lymphatics, because the large intestine is all about letting go, okay? On every level. So we're going down, all the way down. And often with this, you can feel heat arise in the body. We can get thirsty. So you want to make sure you get a good glass of water after this. So all the way down. And you can do that as many times as you want, but you don't want to overdo it if they're very tender, okay? And then let's do the long point. So taking three finger notch and you're going to go down the breastbone. So just coming onto the breastbone, circle, breathe to the next spot. And if you are standing, you can do this sitting or lying. You may just want to do a gentle figure of eight with the hips because movement helps the flow. And as you breathe in deeply, just imagine that space in your body, in your torso, in your limbs, to so go all the way down. And then from here, you're just going to rake the chest. Okay. Shake that off. Take a nice deep breath in, reach up. And just let your right hand take hold of the left wrist and drop your left foot deep into the earth. Imagine it's sinking down into deep earth and just gently encourage the arm over. So you're opening up all the way down the side of the body. Just make some space and then over to the other side. Release that. And then bring the hands behind the back and you're going to li link the thumbs together, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift up, open out the chest. And if you'd like to take it a little bit further, you can just take your legs a little bit wider and tip forward. Let the head go. Just take a few deep breaths and feel that opening across the shoulders, down the arms to the thumbs. Because you're working with the lung energy pathway here. One more breath. Breathe out first. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, release. Flop forward. Bend the knees. Roll yourself up. And then from here, bring the hands behind the back again. And you'll go to an, a natural way to link. And you're going to change over so it feels a bit odd. Okay, and then do exactly the same thing again. Open up the chest, lift the hands. You can stay here and breathe or just tip yourself forward. See what feels right for you. Let the head hang, let the jaw relax, take a few breaths. And if you've chosen not to go forward, just stay here and keep lifting the arms away. Look up, close the mouth. And then letting go, if you're bending over, let the head go, let it shake. Bend the knees and then roll yourself up slowly. All the way up. Shake that off. And then gently, we're just going to go into a tapping sequence by the eyebrows and then the corner of the eyes. Just get a figure of eight going with the hips underneath the eyes, underneath the nose. And as you do this underneath the mouth, bring your awareness to the space in your body. That sense of expanding time just under the collarbones, side of the body. And then just let your hands fall down. So just wherever they fall, they'll be back on those large intestine points. Just tap there. And then the top of the head. 
So stay with it, breathing deeply. Space behind the eyes and in the head. Let time slow down. Feel the feet rooted, grounded. Let your feet sink into damp earth. Let the breath go slow and easy. And as you're tapping, you're just giving the body the okay signals. And when we feel relaxed, that's when we can trust to bring in some space into into our lives, into the body. And then from here, breathe out completely. Take a deep breath in and just release. And bring your hands, fingers, so they're sending the energy down the legs and just take a moment to just feel that expansion. Smile. Notice when you smile how that can really lighten everything. Smile with every cell of your body. So thank you for joining me. If you'd like to understand more about the cycle of letting go, then please check out the link below and there's a free course that we offer. So it can really take you deeper into this section and also through a cycle of transformation. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please like, please share. And again, thank you for joining us and all our details are below.